we are heading our way to Lee Canyon. Lee Canyon I would describe as like the Big Bear of Vegas, where it's like the closest snow resort. And we actually been here before. Taika took a little ski lesson, you can watch that vlog. And I was snowboarding. And then on my feed that shows like all these outdoor Vegas activities, I found out that the ski lifts are still in operation during the summer. And what's really cool is you can take them and they'll take you to other trails. So the ski, uh, lifts they kind of double in purpose where it goes from hitting the slopes to if you want a mountain bike or if you want to hike and do all that and then I also found out there's like other activities up there so we're going up there to explore and I did not realize how beautiful Lee Canyon is and look look how densely like the forest is isn't that crazy it's beautiful it looks like we're on our way to Yosemite or something yeah especially right now that like winter has melted everything away spring has sprung all the stuff all the all the new plants the spring has sprung up huh? the springs have sprung up all the plants it's all green and beautiful and this before is only, the summer kills everything and this is only 30 minutes away from vegas so far and what's also cool it's cooler than vegas so in vegas it's about like 90 degrees right now and if you look at where we're at it's 76 so it's gonna get cooler and cooler the higher we go i believe the difference is around 20 to 30 degrees at the top amazing so we'll see how nice it is we gotta come here during the peak summertime some parts still got snow in the mountains you see up there i don't think that's snow oh is that snow yeah i think there are little pieces of snow up there still is that snow or what do you think that is like just rocks i don't know oh, is it snow. sand what is like snow? at the top 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 at the bottom it looks just like dirt at the top 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 i'm not sure we're gonna get closer. Hold on. Hold. I can't tell you. Oh, I think it's just. I don't know. No, I think it's snow. I don't know. I believe Papa too. Thank you, monkey. Thanks, dude. This is white. The snow is white. Yeah. But that's impossible. It's supposed to be all water. So this is completely different than the last time we came. The last time we came it was covered in snow. Now it's just covered in green trees, but it's the exact same mountain, which is super cool. And you'll see a lot of people bringing out their mountain bikes. They're gonna ride the ski lift, and uh, they're gonna, the, the ski lift actually takes them up to all the trails. And I believe the slopes kind of double as a mountain bike trail. Um, I heard of a trail that doesn't even need a ski lift. It's so one thing I am worried about is I don't know if this little guy would feel comfortable on a ski lift just yet. So I'm looking for this one called Bristle Cone Trail. And uh, apparently you get like pretty nice views. I don't know how long it is. Some of the trails out here are like five, six, ten miles long because they're really big. So I'm just gonna go with the flow and see uh, where we end up exploring to. But oh, it's right there. Bristle Cone trail wild dogs wild dogs i love seeing them off leash it's cuny wild dogs so what we found out is uh dogs are actually allowed on the chairlifts and there's one that's made just for mountain bikes and then there's one that's the scenic one so us pedestrians can go on it and we could bring the dogs so we're gonna do that for sure but they don't open until 10. So it's 9.30 right now, so it's gonna kill like 30 minutes and then we're gonna go up there and I bet the views are gonna be insane. So I'm really, really excited. What'd you find, young man? Whoa, you okay? What are you guys smelling? I found some more stuff. Found some more stuff? Follow me. Follow him, follow him. Hey, Monkey Cheeto's right on your back, too. I see him. Yeah. Come on, Papalinos. What'd you find, mister? No, I found that there was no, like, like a bathroom thingy. A bathroom yeah, like, thingy? See that building full of green? Yeah. But like, this is an optical court. Opti no, those are for jumps and stuff. When what? it's, like, snow season. Oh, I wanna go, I wanna go try it out. Watch out, there's a car coming. There's a car in the corner, a black Toyota Tacoma, a really sick one. I'll go after this one. Yep, right behind this one. Okay. 
Okay, you ready, Koopy Coops? We're gonna go after this one. Here we go. Good job, monkey man. Good job, dude. All right, so I'm on the lift with Cooper for the first time. Cuny guy. Look at this. This is awesome. I'm so proud of him. I thought he'd be freaking out, but he's on me. I'm holding on to him. I want to make sure he feels secure because we are pretty high off the ground. So we got to make sure he feels safe. So I didn't know this, but uh, apparently you can't hike up there. It's just a scenic chair ride. So as soon as we turn around, it's all downhill. Looks kind of scary. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So I just got to be brave with Mr. Cooper because I know he can feel my heartbeat. So I just want to stay relaxed. But it does feel pretty damn scary. I think I could hear Taika crying in the back because he's probably scared of heights a little bit. So I got to put this camera away and I'll wait till I get down to the bottom of the vlog. But this scenery is. Okay, made it down safe. Let's see how Mama and the young monkey Taika and Mia do. I like his little bucket hat. Cutie. No, you can do it. Just jump. Just jump off and run forward. Not yet, not yet. Once you get to the platform. There you go. Run, run, run. Good job. Yay, you made it. Hey, not gonna lie, it was pretty scary on the way back down, huh? Uh, yeah, Taika was a little bit scared. Mia, sorry, I don't know where she decided to go behind you. Taika, you were scared? Yeah, he was like, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Do the axe throwing. Yes, do the axe throwing. Said, actually, I'm freaking out right now. It's pretty high up there. <laughs> Uh -huh. That just okay. feels very sus. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Get, get close. Get close. Up to the red line. There you go. Okay. Right there. There. Do what she told you. And then Remember she said take a step and oh. throw forward. Yep. Oh my, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, next one. You wanna keep yeah. it? You wanna keep it straight. Yeah. Okay. Look, you wanna keep it straight. Okay. Let's see. Pretty close. Try to keep it straight like this. Like that. Okay, Mama's turn. My turn. Okay, let's see. Mama, you can do it. Yeah, we saw what your son did. Let's see if you could do any better. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, getting closer. Whoa, Mama got all the way down to four. That's pretty good, huh? And it's your turn, Papa. Okay, my turn. All right, Papa's turn. All the right. first one I'm just—I was trying to gauge. Yeah. How just it excuses works. Excuses right off the bat why you didn't do good, huh? Excuses Haters. right off the bat. Damn, huh? you're a true content creator. Am I? I don't even know if I know how to do this correctly. Make it wide, and you should be fine. And then take it gets to go again. Okay, it's okay. Just go. All right, go for it. Oh, 
sure. Sure. Nice. I like it. Nice. What are your excuses? Uh, hey. What's the rules? One person at a time. I really love how dense this forest is. So this hike is called the Bristle Cone Trail, but it's really tight. So it feels like you're really just going through the wilderness versus a lot of trails since so many people go through them. They're pretty wide. So it feels like more like a park with trees, whereas this really feels like your nature, like logs that have collapsed due to natural reasons and super tall trees. It's beautiful. And Cooper's doing really good so far. Huh, Mr. Mr. Cooper? Okay, listen. Of course, as soon as I say listen, all the nature sounds stop. But it sounded like a Disneyland ride. Like it sounded fake. It was so rich with nature sounds. They're like, whoa. What is that? Yeah, you hear that? It's beautiful. It's beautiful to hear those kind of sounds. And the altitude here must be high because I'm out of breath. Either that or I'm tired because as you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that uh, I'm preparing for a bodybuilding show. So I've been in a caloric deficit for like six weeks now. So my energy levels are low. And man, just even walking is really tiring, but it's so cute to see those guys running around. I love it. What'd you guys find? What'd you guys find over there? What'd you guys find over there, hmm? I see one. I see the other one. And don't forget me. And the furless monkey. Yeah. Good girl, back. Mia. Good girl. What a good listener. <laughs> what a good listener. So mama, give me the magic words. She's like, okay, when do you want to turn back around? I was like, let's go right now. I'm literally dying because I'm on a deficit, but I don't want to ruin the family fun. And I think we saw enough and it is getting close to lunchtime. And so I have all the excuses to be a big weenie. Well, I remember being on a cut and having a caloric deficit yeah. and having zero energy. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna die. Remember the, cut, the last hike we went on? Yeah, and this, was the, this, is, this is even a harder cut than get lean. So I'm getting ready for a show. Yeah, so I'm sure you're way, way, way more dying. Yeah, like just to put it in perspective, I think get lean for most of it, I was at 1,900 calories. This one so far, my average is probably like 1,500. I don't even think my calories are that. So, yeah, and then Jill is a lady and she has less mass, less muscle than me, and hers isn't even that low. So like I wake up literally starving and hungry every day, and I just try to put off lunch as soon as I can, because if I eat lunch, then my appetite opens up, and then I'm starving, I have a voracious appetite. So it's kind of what's happening right now. So I need to, I need to eat something to be honest. Made it back to the car. Man, boy is my morale and my energy levels low. We still got on a decent hike, kind of short, but it was only like uh, about a mile and 1.29, 1.3. Did it in about 45 minutes. As I was saying, a slow pace. Um, even Tiger could do like two, three miles easy, no problem. Our typical hike, I think, is about three miles without uh, with him. Without him, we've done like up to five as a casual one. But it still helps me get a ton of steps in today, which is really important to stay active. And also like a good disconnect, you know, like we're so glued to our phones, electronic devices, constantly being stimulated by news, drama, clickbait, all that stuff. So it's always good to just come out here even for i think we came out here maybe around nine almost 12 now because we did all the axe throwing and then the ski lifts and everything just to disconnect for three hours and just to be with the family and the cuny fur puppies you know and so that feels really good so even though my mind and my heart is tired um my soul feels fresh and now i need to go get some food all right guys i'm home literally dead zero energy that doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm literally dead. You're and, alive. and this morning, um, before we got the show on the road, I went to Starbucks and I had a little cheat drink. And so I kind of have to pay for it now. I need to fit a ton of protein 
under 500 calories. So I'm gonna show you guys what I've been eating on a cut. It doesn't have to look pretty, it doesn't have to look good, it just has to hit the nutrition. So this is meal two. And like any good boy you, or good girl, you always wanna plug in your food before you put it in your mouth because once it goes in your mouth, you can't undo it, you know, but you can calculate how much food you're gonna put in. So you see I have uh, just one patty, a 96% uh, lean patty right there, put that in. I got solid tuna. I'm gonna use all three servings in this can, so that's 270. These angel hair konjac noodles have been a lifesaver. Shout out to Nadine for putting me on these guys. It's only five calories per, so I'm using two of them to have a lot more volume to feel satiated. I found this Barilla almost zero fat um, marinara sauce, and I also found this zero calorie. I don't even know how they make this Alfredo sauce. So I'll make like a pink sauce with some tuna and have a little patty on the side and this should be pretty filling for only 500 calories and that puts me back on track where I get to have something that's 630 calories later for dinner. So even on an insane diet, you still kind of have wiggle room and you can kind of like, you know, give or take like this morning. I was like, you know what? I'm in the mood for a nice little dessert drink from Starbucks. I drank it, paid for it, or I'm paying for it now. Um, so now I gotta figure out a way to get back on track. But so this right here is a uh, total this whole little enchilada right here is 85 grams of protein with only 7.5 grams of fat and only 24 grams of carbs. Pretty good. Hey Google, three minute timer. Sure, three minutes, starting now. So one thing with these konjac noodles, you almost have to boil them or else they're like pretty gross because it does not taste like noodle texture. It has like this weird poppy bean sprouty taste. And what I've noticed is if you boil it for three minutes first, it softens it up. And then if you close your eyes, you can kind of pretend like it's close to a noodle. So a lot of it is just about pretending and faking that orgasms, which I'm sure you're a professional at. Wait, never, wait, never mind. I always give you real orgasms, don't, don't I? Yeah. Anyway, see, Gio's a good wife. She never lets me know when she fakes it. So I put it in here for three minutes, let this boil soften up while um, I'm gonna cook that patty on the side and then I'll make that random pink sauce. So next thing I'm doing, I'm just cooking one burger patty, kind of like a little steak on the side. And no, it's not really part of the recipe or cuisine I'm going for, because as you can see, I'm making like a, a pasta. Um, but what I realized for my psychological satiety, like just having a pasta with sauce doesn't really feel fulling. So a uh, filling, what am I even saying? So I need to have something that like, I'm like chewing like I'm like a carnivore, like there's meat. Cause like once I blend this into the sauce, it just becomes part of the sauce and it doesn't really feel like, you know? So um, I'm putting this just on the side just to have a little action. Which is also kind of cool cause whatever meat juices come off, which is very little because 96.4, I'll be able to use as a flavoring agent in my pasta as well. So burger patty is done, move that over here now time to make the sauce just gonna use this uh, minced Korean garlic spit this has been super helpful throw it on there just to get a little bit of that flavor then well it's really hard doing this one-handed operation get some of this marinara right here dump about a cup I probably don't even need a cup I always overshoot it Woo, shit. what in the world dump that now Start mixing it around. Ooh, the garlic. The garlic really makes it taste insane, to be honest. So we got that on there. Now the Alfredo, oh, I forgot. The tuna, it's important to get the flavor into the tuna. So here we go. Probably need a little bit more tomato sauce. All right, so I just said, fuck it. I just threw everything in there because I'm so tired and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna just start mixing the tuna and the sauce. This actually looks good. I don't even think I need the Alfredo sauce, but I am curious because I did just buy that. So I am gonna eat it together. But so far, you know what? F it, I don't want to. This looks good. I don't want to ruin a good thing. Cause especially when it's like this much, where if it ends up not being good, then I have to throw the whole thing away, you know? So right now I got this, and I got the patty. That looks like it'll be good all together. Look at this. 
This looks not bad at all. That's it. That's it, guys. Garlic, marinara, tuna, contract noodles, bam, and a big mess. Okay, moment of truth. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out, but I got tuna and tomato sauce. Tuna? Yeah, I, I dumped a whole can of tuna in here. Disgusting. Well, it's like meat sauce, right? So. Yeah, but it's fish. Surf and turf, baby. I was gonna ask you how does it look, but now I know your answer. Disgusting. Where are your veggies at too, dude? It's not bad actually. The tomato sauce is really good. It does really make me appreciate Olive Garden right now though. All the what? It does really make me appreciate Olive Garden right now. Oh God. And I hate Olive Garden. Have a little garlic bread. <laughs> now I'm joined by Mama Bear and Taco Bear. And Mama made some ah. yummy fried fish in the toaster. It came out really crunchy. Mm. Toaster oven. Toaster oven. <laughs> we got some leftover fried rice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I love when we are able to recycle food. As you can see, I'm done with that big old plate. I use two packets of the konjac noodles because I have an insane appetite. I think for the regular person, one packet is good enough. I'm one of those guys that can go to In-N-Out and put down four four by fours like it's nothing. So don't compare yourself to the way I eat. But this is the most stuffed and not satisfied I've ever been in my entire life. I'm stuffed, like I literally can't eat anything else. But I also felt like I had no satisfaction of eating a yummy meal, but that's what I guess bodybuilding is going to be like. So I got another about a month and two weeks. I know. I know. This is one of those one and done things. I just want to go through it, push my body through it, get myself super lean. I figured it's like one of those where you bite the bullet, right? Get yourself really lean, lean, even more lean than your ideal that way when you start introducing food you can kind of dial it back to where it is ideal and then figure out a way to maintain and i'm gonna be 40 next year so i'm like i might as well just do this now and then just maintain the level of leanness i want to be for the rest of my life rather than all these crazy fluctuations so i am going to be the leanest i've ever been and i might even be there now already but i'll be like sub 10 probably <laughs> All right, so Mama has been cleaning up a storm because we got family coming over soon. And what's, it does not look like there's any progress. Rude. Whatsoever. So that's the guy that was, was sitting on the couch. But no, there was this was all packed. Oh, this right. It was stuffed to the brim. It's a city that Taika made. So we could, so imagine this Mama, city. Mama, no. I'm not going to touch it. You, you're not going to touch it now. Okay, fine, but I'm not going to touch it after this. Yeah, so let's ignore that. Yeah. But all of this is going away. Is, is this going to be done tonight or tomorrow? Yeah. No, it's ready to go. I just need to put things in their place now. Oh. Like, there's just a bunch of little knickknack thingies, but it's getting done. What's up, baby? I love watching. But yeah, a lot of old broken toys just kind of... I ask them, do you want it? Do you not? Like, look at all of these bins are empty now. Yeah. I have a whole open space there. Kind of hard. To, oh, that is open space. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell the progress when it doesn't look like it has progressed. Another really weird meal. I know. Just two more patties and got some Japanese pickles, which I love, and some regular pickles. So the Japanese pickle is daikon, which is like a radish. So crunchy, so good. But it's kind of what happens when like, you're on a really strict diet, bodybuilding prep, and you kind of indulge a little bit, you have to pay for it in the other two meals. So the way that I, I've been, been able to psychologically manage it is if I want to indulge one day, then I just know the rest, the next the two meals are gonna be trash, look forward to the next day, and kind of go day by day by day. Almost like when you're running a marathon, you go mile by mile by mile kind of same concept. 
I was at the grocery store earlier and I saw this. Walden Farms makes a fat-free ranch dressing. Zero calories actually, I don't even know how this happens, but cannot wait to taste this on the burger. I know, could be kind of weird, but when you're in diet mode, dude, anything, any flavor is good. So I'll try this out and let you guys know how it is. All right, moment of truth. Just poured some on the plate of this ranch. I just licked the bottle. Very watery. Definitely does not taste like regular ranch. But I think if I mixed it into something, it wouldn't be bad. It's just by itself, it's like nothing beats that like either Chick-fil-A dip or that thick buttermilk ranch, you know? But on a diet, can't complain. Uh, definitely gonna use some of that on the burger with some ketchup. And that's my meal. Oh, by the way, I also shared one of the patties with the, the doggies and that's what they're waiting for. Big Q and knees. Okay, Mama said Taika's room is really done this time. Uh, really done in terms of just organization, okay? okay. Not like decor or okay, anything. Okay, show me, show me the tour. Ooh, I even, you even have the streaks on the carpet. Yeah, I like that, I like what I see. But it, I got rid of a lot of this stuff and I just left big toys on here. Okay. Until we buy his actual furniture, like this. Like a toy organizer? Yeah, this is not his. Okay. Um, so I just condensed a lot of the little knick-knack things that he just doesn't play with or he outgrew or just broken Yeah, so this is again ignore this thing because that's his apartments But that's just the shit he plays with and that's the shit he plays with. That's cutie. I love all these toys Yeah, he has a box of just cars Yeah, and like <laughs> Yeah, um, I didn't make the bed because he likes to jump off of his bed. Yeah, so I'll do that tomorrow before our guests get here But yeah, even this I was able to condense that was like a whole oh, yeah. bunch of shit. This, we're not there yet. One day. We're just moving in. It's been almost a year that we've lived here and we still have boxes. Yeah, I mean our backyard's not slow. done. We still gotta organize the garage. It's been a slow process. A little by little. But yeah, little by little. Hopefully by the time it's ready to sell this forever home, we'll be organized. <laughs> no more, please, no more. Unless it's like three million, yeah, then yeah. I'm down. True. That was our day. I'm gonna continue folding laundry and wrap up everything to get ready for all the guests. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.